Yes. Uh, good afternoon to all. Yes, my voice is, uh, is uh, audible. Yes. Yes, Amata Bhavani. Hello. It is audible. Hello. Hello. Amata. It is my my voice is very audible or not? Hello. Yes, now it is clear. Hello. Hello. Hi, ah, yes, Mamata. Mamata, Matla and Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay, okay. This is physics class, second semester English medium. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. yes. So, in the before one class, uh, we have to write the forced oscillation, forced oscillations. In this uh, forced oscillation equation is uh, d square x by dt square plus 2b dx by dd plus omega naught square equal to f of sine omega t. Okay, this is uh, equation number one. Already we are through in the equation one. Right. So this is the equation. So in this equation, equation of equation of solution is x equal to a sine omega t minus theta. This is the equation number two. It's a assumed equation. It's a assumed equation. It is solution of another equation one. Okay. So in this uh, uh, x equal to a sine omega t minus theta, then our first one equation is, is uh, up to maximum in second degree or second order combination. Okay, so we have to we have to extend up to second degree equation in the equation two. So dx by dt is the first degree and d square x by dt square is the second degree or second order equation. So in these three equations we have to apply in equation one. Finally you will get the one equation. That equation is that equation is is a uh, up to previous class we have to complete. Okay so that equation is Minus a omega square sine omega t minus theta plus two b a omega cos of omega t minus theta plus plus omega naught square a sine omega t minus theta equal to equal to f of sine omega t minus theta plus theta this is the this is the 
previous equation. Okay, this is the previous equation. Now we have to continuation of on our course order, course order uh, oscillations equation. Okay, so then the continuation is in the in this uh, sine value sine minus of a omega square sine omega t minus theta in the omega naught square a sine omega t minus theta we have to write it like in the common a in the both values in the both values so a omega naught square E omega naught square minus omega square. The common is sine. Sine. The common is sine omega t minus theta. Omega t minus theta. Okay. So is a is clear. So after that, then two b e omega cos omega omega t minus theta is there. Directly to write it to be to be a omega cos of omega t minus theta. It is clear in the LHS side. This is also completed. Okay, so this LHS side is clear. Then remaining is is the RHS side f sine omega t. Omega t minus theta plus theta is there in the form of sine sine a plus b sine a plus b in the formula is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b like this we have to expand okay so then the f of sine a means omega t minus theta Next to cos b mean cos theta plus next one is is a f of f of cos cos omega t minus theta then sine theta okay okay Right, it is clear. This equation is a last one. Equation is clear. Is a is a f of sine omega t minus theta plus theta is a sine a cos b cos b sine b like this. You can write it. All of it is clear or not? Yes. Is clear. If you any doubts in this one, hello, hello, hello. Yes, sir. It is clear or not? Clear, sir. Right, no doubt. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, right. Para to write here, no down positive.
just completed. Completed or not? Complete, sir. Okay. So next one is the continuation. Next one is in the LHS side, LHS side, so A omega naught square minus omega square sine omega t minus theta is there. Okay. So next one is is a continuation of in the RHS side is f of sine omega t minus theta cos theta is there. Okay. So sine omega sine omega t minus theta in the LHS side and RHS side of sine omega t minus theta we have to remove. After that, then the equation is a into omega naught square minus omega square equal to f of cos theta. This is the equation number three. This is the sine term in the LHS of in our sine term sine omega t minus theta. We have to neglect our remove the LHS sine do or it is sine. Then we have to write the coefficients of sine omega t minus theta LHS side terms is a a omega square minus omega square equal to then the RHS side is then we have to neglect in the sine omega t minus theta and remaining this f of cos theta is the equation number three. In the same way, cos cos omega t minus theta terms you have to write it in the LHS side do. LHS side of RHS side of coefficients. Okay, so in the coefficients of LHS cos omega t minus theta coefficients is 2b a omega 2b a omega. So that is equal to in the RHS side of cos omega t minus theta coefficients is that is f of f of f of sine theta f of sine theta. This is equation number four. Okay, it is clear. Right, is a equation three and four is a sine omega t minus theta coefficients in the LHS side and RHS side. So next one is in the cos omega t minus theta coefficients of in the LHS side and the or at just side, we have to write it is a equation number three and is a equation number four. So next one is the squaring and addition of in the squaring and in the addition of LHS side and RHS side of terms. Ah, okay. And later on, go in the three. In the squaring and to adding equation three and four. So in the squaring, in the equation three, that is a square omega naught square minus omega square plus addition of three and four LHS side. After that, we have to square it. Okay. So addition in LHS of three and four is a. A omega naught square minus omega square, then squaring is a square omega square minus omega naught square minus omega square in four square. Now it is clear. The fourth one equation LHS side is that is four four b square a square omega square.
So yeah, this term is completed in the village side so, Next one is in the RHS side is F, F cos theta and F sin theta is there, then we have to add it that is a F cos theta plus F sin theta. So in the terms of squares is F square cos square theta, F square sin, uh, sin square theta, that is F square is common, that is a sin square theta plus cos square theta, that is value is one, then remaining. Finally, in the RHS side, F square is there. F square is it because of in the cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to value is one, then remaining is F square, F square, you can write. Okay, yeah? right. Okay, so next one is in the third form A square omega naught square minus omega square whole square plus four B square. Omega square in this one term a square is common, a square is common. So in the f square x square direction. Okay, a square term in the common in the first one and the second one also. That's why that's why we are trying that a square of omega square minus omega, omega naught square minus omega square whole square plus 4b square omega square. That is equal to F square. Yes, note down fastly. All of it is clear. All of it is clear. Fastly note down. Completed. It's completed or not? Completed, sir. It, it, yes, it is understood or not? Amma, yes, sir. Right, right. Okay, very good. The combination is. Then A square, then A square equal to F A square equal to F square by F square by this one equation. Okay, so A square equal to F square by this or this or which come to in the Let's go to in the RHS side, RHS side. Okay, so then the equation is omega non square minus omega square whole square plus plus four b square omega square four b square omega square. So then the a equal to in the a equal to in the a square, then a equal to that is f of f of omega naught square minus omega square plus plus four 
of O of the D square minus the square. Is a under root of you can write it in the square of the so this is equation number five. This equation number is five. Okay, so next one by so we have to find out the a value. A means amplitude of another force or friction. Is a F by under root of omega naught square minus omega square whole square plus four b square omega square. That is the amplitude of another force or oscillations. So now we have to find out the angle of angle of force vibrations. So that is. Theta, theta. We have to find out. In this process, then we have to dividing by dividing by dividing equation equation four by. Four by three. Then in the fourth one equation is two b a omega equal to f sine theta is there. In the third one equation is a into omega naught square minus omega square equal to a f cos theta. Okay. So third in the dividing four by three. Then uh, then. Sine theta by cos theta, that is tan theta. Tan theta equal to two p a omega by a omega by a into omega naught square minus omega square. Omega naught square minus omega square. So finally, in the Equation is two b a a get cancel then you will get the two b omega by omega naught square minus omega square omega square s yes. note down firstly If you read those in this one, S yes. no doubt, right? Is completed? Is completed or not? No, sir. Wait, don't pause it.
So it, it is completed. Hello, it is completed or not? What about Akil? Completed, sir. Completed, sir. Okay, okay. So next one, the continuation process. And theta, then theta equal to tan inverse, then tan is equal to LHS2 RHS side that is the tan inverse of then equation is 2b omega by omega naught square minus omega square. This is the angle formation is the equation number six. Is the equation number okay? Is a theta it is represented by in the phase of the displacement. So, how can we measure the phase of an our wave? So, phase is so, for example, this is a wave formation like this is the wave. Okay, so this is a first one phase, is a positive phase, is a negative phase. We have to consider this is a first one is positive and this is a negative phase. Okay, so in the wave, wave it is propagation from positive to negative, it is changes of in our phase. This is a phase angle is is a it is it is indication for is a denoted by six to one equation six to one equation right okay next one is in the a from the equation five a a is equation five is that is a equal to f by under root of omega square minus omega square two into whole square power of whole square or uh, power of square plus 4b square omega square under root is there. So this is a, a equation. The a value we have to apply in equation 2. Then you will get the x value. X value. So how can we how can we find out the x value we can see that? Okay. So in the In the equation four, equation, equation, sir, equation five, equation five, a value, a value, substitute in, substitute in equation, equation two, then x equal to a means in the equation five, a value is f by under root of under root of omega square minus omega square whole square plus four b square omega square four b square omega square into sine omega t minus theta sine omega t minus theta. Okay, so this is equation is x value we have to find out the x value okay so these are x value means is a displacement of wave it is a propagation wave propagation of wave it is displacement means there is a initial point to final point that means this initial point is a final point is a displacement in the displacement of value along to x value x dimension x dimension of equation that is x equal to f by f by under root of omega square minus omega whole square plus 4 b square omega square into sine omega t minus theta that is a displacement of our equation okay so this is the force of oscillations force of oscillations of uh, uh, angle phase and uh, this is the amplitude and displacement equations we have to find out this a this a uh, important question in our examination yep. so 
next one is the next one is is a block one completed block one completed but then we have to go to in the block four block four in the block four name is in this block four in this block four we have to three elites is a four year theorem four year analysis and the ultrasonic we have to three units is a okay is a block four name is complex vibrations and the ultrasonics complex vibrations and the ultrasonics right Yes, not down fast. Yes. yes, it is completed. On board explanation completed or not? Completed, sir. Yes. All of it is clear in this question. Force translations. If any doubts in this one? Yes. To last equation, we have to any doubts? No, sir. Oh, okay, right. Very good. Then we have to go to the fourth one block. Its name is complex vibrations. And contrast. Contrast. Okay. So this is a fourth one block. Uh, for one block, uh, <coughs> complex vibrations and ultrasonics. So in this for one block, it is divided into three units. The state is unit uh, unit ten, unit uh, eleven, and uh, that is last one is that is unit twelve. You have to divide it into three units. So the unit ten is four year theorem. That is the uh, unit three. Unit ten is four year theorem. Four year theorem. So next one is unit eleven. Four year analysis. Okay, four year. Analysis. Four-year analysis. The last one unit is that is ultrasonics. 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 So this is the block four name and block four of units. Okay. So first one is uh, Fourier theorem. Okay, so Fourier theorem. In this Fourier theorem, so in the dating century, J Fourier, J P J Fourier, it is we are to suggest it the Fourier theorem. Is a uh, completely. It is uh, depend on mathematical analysis. Mathematical analysis is a completely mathematical theorem. So how can we determine the Fourier theorems? And uh, so Fourier theorems. What is the use of in our Fourier theorems? We are to discuss after that. Then we are to go to the process of it. Okay. So in this system, the any single value and finite 
not infinite in the finite continuation periodic functions we can be expressed as a summation of infinite number of infinite number of systems infinite number of systems then we suppose we have to use the simple harmonic motion terms in the simple harmonic term base okay so in the terms i will in the frequencies are we have to multiply it. we have to multiply it of the frequency of the frequency of the neural waves okay so we have to multiply this are finite for example in the for example we have to assume the wave this is the wave like this in that one this is the wave okay so this is a wave this is a wave of vision so in the finite wave for finite system this is a not a infinite this is a finite system okay this is the finite system this is the finite system of wave so in the system so we have to find out the first one and this is the second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one tenth eleventh like this okay so we have to find out the frequencies okay in the frequencies is it is finite and continuation of periods of functions okay is a it is a single value function in the wave propagation is a simple harmonic wave propagation okay so we have to multiply in the all values we have to multiply in the all values of systems okay from the in the fourier system fourier systems okay so in the fourier system so mathematically we have to write it like this so y equal to y equal to f of omega into t equal to a naught in the first one system is a a1 cos omega t this is the second one is a like this is a continuation that is a a2 cos 2 omega t plus plus a3 cos 3 omega t plus up to so on to so on that is a plus a or this a last one is a infinite term that is a r cos r omega t a r cos r omega t plus plus in a b1 sin omega t plus b2 sin 2 omega t plus b b3 sin 3 omega t up to so on that is b r sin r omega t sin r omega t we have to like this we can write it in the system okay this is a fourier system so how can we use a cos and sin values okay so this is the wave propagation this is indication of like this is the one axis so this is the another one axis like this okay so this is the one axis this is the for example this is the y axis and it is a z axis like this okay two axis we have to like we have to consider in this system okay so these are two axis means that is the cos and sin a cos and b sin okay so in the y axis we have taken the a cos value in the x axis value is b sin okay omega means is a omega a means a means amplitude so you know that one the frequency of an omega and t is time we have to consider in the in the form of waves that is a not plus a1 
one cross omega t plus a two cross omega t plus a three cross omega t of two here cross or omega t is a finite values in the x axis system. So next one is the sorry y axis system in the X axis system is that is B1 sine omega t plus B2 sine omega t plus B3 sine 3 omega 3 up to PR sine r omega t. These are these are wave propagation of wave in the finite and continuous single value system of the input harmonic motions. Simple harmonic motions. So, in this equation shortcut, you can write it like this. So, see that one? In the y equal to y equal to a naught a naught, you can write it plus summation of summation of r equal to 1 to infinite 1 to infinite in the first one term is a r cos r omega t plus second one term is b r cos r omega t okay this is a equation number one so for example in the you see that one so you put the r equal to one then value is a one cos r omega t then in this value so next one in the B1 cos B1 cos omega t is a B1 cos B1 cos AR cos omega t sorry is the PR sin PR sin R omega t. So in the B sin omega t is a second one B1 sin omega t. So for example, you want to three. 3 means r equal to 3, then value is a3 cos a3 a3 cos r cos r r is there, okay. So a3 cos 3 omega t plus b3 sin 3 omega t, okay. So for example, in the value of Value of 4, 5 up to infinite, then you have to put it like this. Is the, this is a equation. This is a equation. This equation is what is that? Fourier theorem statement. Okay. So this is a this is a Fourier theorem statement of equation. More than possibly. So first one is you can write it. So first of all, you have to write the definition. I'll get. Uh, I'll I'll be. Uh, any single value finite any single value finite continuous periodic function you can write it costly any single value finite continuous periodic function which can be expressed as can be expressed as summation of infinite number system. Summation of infinite number system of simple harmonic terms, simple harmonic terms. Having frequencies, having frequencies, having frequencies which are multiple of the frequencies, which are multiple of frequencies is in first round in the No jet, no jet
is completed completed sir This Fourier theorems in the omega equal to in the formula is omega is equal to two pi by two pi by okay so in the omega equal to two pi by two in the periodic time the motion of when the motion of wave in the time is that is a p. E by two, T e by one. First of all, you have to write the T e by one, T e by two, T e by three, T e by four, T e by five, T e by six, like this. Okay. So T e by one means that is the T time period. First one. The second one is T e by two. The third one time period that is the T by three. The fourth one is the time period is T by four like this. Is the time period of the nervous system. Okay. In the any simple harmonic in the course of a proper amplitude with the relative phase with periodic is T T by two T by three like this. Okay. So these are these are time and and in the The frequencies, frequencies of equation omega equal to two pi by t. Okay, two pi by t. You have to remember that. Remember that. Okay. So next one is so in this uh, uh, next one is the evaluation of Fourier coefficients a naught, a r, b r. So what is the value of a naught in the Fourier theorem? In the Fourier theorem. A naught and A R B R values is there. This is unknown values. Okay. So what is the A naught, A R and B R values? Okay. So A R value is is the final value. A naught value is the initial value. So what is the initial value and final value? We have to find out it. So finally, you will get the total information in this between. So that's why we have to find out the a naught, a r, and b r also. The second one phase b r is there. That is the a naught to a r and a naught to b r. So means initial value is a naught. This is the final value. This is the first one phase is a r. This is the second one phase final value is b r. Okay. So we have to find out the initial and the final values of in our System. So that's why our rating is evaluation of four years positions A naught, A R, and the P R values. You can write it. Yeah. Right. You can write it. Positions of four years A naught, A R, and the P R. From equation one, so a naught, a one, a two, b one, b two, b three, up to in the displacement is a r, b r is there. So, so in this system, first of all, we have to find out the initial value that is evaluation of Fourier coefficient a naught. First one, we have to find out the a naught value. Okay, how can we find out the a naught value using that one? Okay, so in the I think that is a time interval. I will be continuous in the next one class. Right, next one class will so, uh, a naught or b or b complete. Right. If any doubts in this uh, class.
if any doubts hello no sir okay right okay so tomorrow we will thank you thank you to everyone thank, thank you sir